What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If y'all been following me for a little while, y'all know I've been trying to get y'all on a golf setup video on my truck for probably about two or three months now. I just never got around to it. I feel like that's on me. But today we're gonna go over it. I'm gonna show everything I got, what the plans are, and I wanna hear from y'all on what y'all like and what y'all wanna see next. So before we get into the actual exhaust, there is some things I need to go over with y'all. And that is this truck is not a regular 1500 and it's not a 2500. A lot of guys see the half ton mirrors and they think it's a half ton truck. And then a lot of guys see the eight lug wheels, they think it's a Duramax and then I have to let them down. But this is my 2005 Silverado 1500 HD. As y'all can see with the badge on the door, 1500 HD. A lot of people think that's something I made up because it's a gasser and that's not. So one main difference and what's unique about this truck is that the lift kit actually fits on a 2500. This will not fit a regular 1500, but if you go towards the rear, I do have a 1500 rear axle and about right here, the frame actually narrows up, which is why I was able to fit this 14 to 18 Silverado and Sierra rear bumper from a regular 1500. I have a lot of people ask me about this bumper, how I made it work. And I think if you have a general 2500 HD, you do have to drill holes in your frame. For me, it just bolted right up. So now that that's out of the way, we can talk about what's done to the motor, what's done to the whole truck, and uh, what exhaust setup I'm running right now. So about two years ago now, coming up on it, I installed a BTR Truck Norris cam kit. I did it right, did the whole cam, did an oil pump, valves, springs, lifters, everything. Didn't want to mess it up after I put all that money into it, and it has treated me well. I highly recommend that kit, and the reason I personally chose it is because BTR tells you that you can run your stock converter with that cam, and so far that has been true for me. It sounds great, and it's worked perfectly for almost two years now. All right, so now starting on the exhaust. If you look right in here, in the fender liner, you can see I have speed engineering long tube headers. Those are supposed to give you some horsepower gains and all that, whatever. I just wanted to get rid of the cats and have a good sound. I also bought the speed engineering off-road X-pipe. And right after the long tubes and the X-pipe is one of my favorite parts of the truck. You see right here, I have a switch in my hand. Some of you guys may know what this is already. When I had the exhaust done, I put in dual three inch Bluetooth cutouts. And uh, what that does, you have this remote, if it'll focus, there you go. You have this remote, you press the open button, and it basically dumps the exhaust underneath the two front doors. And of course, if you press close, they seal back up. For anybody thinking about buying this system, buying some cutouts like that, um, I loved them. Can't say enough good about them. I love the way they sounded, they worked great. But the bad news is they only worked great for about a year, if that. So this is a look at the dual cutouts. They come with these little tips that point down. They've got dual motors and they run off the remote. I thought it was super cool, but over time, I think the heat got to them. It might be hard to see because it's dark, but there is a valve in there and they're closed right now on both sides. I'm gonna press the open button and show y'all what happens. So y'all saw it, man. Pressing this open button, pressing the close button, it does not do anything. I almost think it like welded itself shut over the past year or two, just from all the heat right there. So it was really cool to have while it still worked, but I will not be buying them again, just because they don't work for very long. I know you can buy replacement motors for them, I think like 60 bucks, 70 bucks a piece, but then I have to buy two of them. And at that point, I'd rather just cut them out and be done with them. So enough with all the bad news. After those cutouts, we go to a Flowmaster FX, I was never a big fan of Flowmaster, but I have loved this muffler. It's been good to me. Sounds good to idle. Sounds good when you get on it. But right now I'm thinking it's time to just change it up. And if y'all can see in here, after the Flowmaster, we go to a four inch Magnaflow tailpipe. Since we are changing the exhaust up soon, I'm thinking about getting maybe a polished or chrome elbow or maybe a slant cut tip. Right now I do just have a single exhaust tip. There's nothing on the driver's side. And I'm leaning towards keeping it that way. But like I said, I wanna know what y'all think, what y'all's favorite setup is in the comments. So as a recap, the cutouts were cool while they worked. They just don't work for too long. The Flowmaster has been great, but I'm thinking it's time to cut them both out. And I'm honestly leaning towards doing a full straight pipe. I know a lot of people think that it sounds terrible, it's obnoxious, and I can't lie, partly I do agree with that. But what I'm thinking is, with the truck being cammed, it should sound a little bit better than just a straight pipe 5.3, straight pipe 6.0. Hopefully it won't have as much clap, it'll have a chop to it, and I'm hoping it'll sound good. I wanna know what you guys are running, what you like, what you think you like to see. And uh, I'm gonna start it up now, give y'all some revs. And if traffic will die down a little bit, I'm gonna try to go down the road a couple times, just to let y'all hear what it sounds like. And uh, I kinda wanna hear it too.
So I took it up to 2,000, 4,000, and then 6,000 RPM. It does sound a little raspy, but it takes that clap away. And uh, so far, it's been all right. Next, I'm gonna try to set my phone up on the side of the road, pray nobody steals it, and then uh, go up and down about two or three times and see if we can get some good video. Hope that was good enough for y'all man i hope those clips came out all right because i am not a fan of leaving my phone on the side of the road mounted on a tripod i don't even think anybody saw it or paid attention to it at all it's just one of those things i did watch one of the clips back just real fast and the first thing i noticed is that you can hear the rattling from the cutouts whenever i open them they don't come open but whenever i close them they don't fully shut so it's like having an exhaust leak it doesn't sound good at all we definitely have to cut those out and I think even if we kept the Flowmaster and just did away with the cutouts, it would still sound a whole lot better. But of course, y'all the reason I make these videos. And if y'all have opinion, I want to hear it. Comment down below what you're running, what you like, and what you would put on this truck if you had it. I'm open to anything. If you want to put twin turbos on it and you want to hood stack it out the hood, I do too. But I'm probably not going to do that because I'm poor right now. I'm still in college. But if you want to do full straights, if you think I need to change the muffler up, if you think I need to buy new motors for the cutouts, anything, I want to know in the comments. If you watched this far and you haven't liked, please do that. And if you watched this far and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? We're so close to 9,000. We probably already hit it by the time this video comes out, which means our subscriber goal for the month of June is 10K. If we can hit 10K subs in my first six months of doing YouTube, that will put me on top of the world. I truly appreciate it. And even if we don't quite get there, I still appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all turn that bell on so you don't miss any posts. I'm trying my best to put out two videos a week all summer long, as well as follow all of my socials. They are in the description of every video. Hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I will see y'all Sunday for a new upload. All right, that was kind of dumb, but uh, yeah, I'll see y'all Sunday. Come back.